What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I feel like it's been a minute since we've uh, played with the Mojito Jeep here and actually done any real modifications to this thing. Recently what I've been having a problem with is as we've been driving I've been noticing a creaking sound in the back and I thought for the longest time I thought it was the hard top. I thought maybe I didn't have the hard top seated correctly after we've had it on and off a bunch of times. What I've realized is it's actually not the hard top creaking. It is the spare tire, which we've been running this 35 inch BF Goodrich tire with the 20 inch grid off-road wheel on here now for more than a year and a half. I'm not exactly sure, but it's been a while. And even though we don't wheel with this size tire on here and wheel, when we go to the sand dunes, we have been driving on these 20s and having this extra weight when you're jumping sand dunes has not been good on the tailgate. For those of you that don't know, we have not done anything to the tailgate reinforcement as far as the hinges go, and we are running the stock tire mount. We didn't even move the, the uh, third brake light here, so everything is completely stock other than slapping on this wheel. But unfortunately, over time, it has caused some creaking issues, I'll show you. Um, I filmed a little footage of it creaking. What happens is over time, it just weakens the hinges and the whole tire kind of gets a little more wobbly. So every time we hit a bump on the road, we're hearing this creaking noise. So what we did is I've done a bunch of research. There's a lot of good options out there for spare tire reinforcement carriers on the back of the Jeeps, especially the JLs here. But after doing all my research, I narrowed it down to the Rusty's Off-Road Products tire carrier. It's a really nice looking one. I feel like it looks finished um, as far as how the, the backup camera goes and your third brake light and all that good stuff. So I thought it was a really nice looking one, but I also wanted to have the option of running a 40 inch tire. For now, we're still at a stock height. We haven't lifted it. We're running 35, so I don't necessarily need the 40 inch but I wanted it to be a possibility in case I ever decide to switch up this whole setup. So Rusty's was the option and uh, we're gonna dig into it today. I've got uh, my buddy Tom who is at BlueJL and I'll put his Instagram name down here. And my buddy Eric are both coming out today. They should be here shortly. And we're gonna dive right into this thing, get it installed. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you the whole process. I think this is one of the more involved installs we've done. I know these tire carriers are not super easy to install, but I'm going to try to get it filmed as best as possible for you so you can see how the process goes. Stay tuned. Okay, so what I can tell you already is that Rusty's really did a good job. They took their time, they packaged this stuff really nicely so that none of the parts are gonna get damaged. The, it came in two packages, mainly your big box is the actual tire carrier itself, and then the little box just had all the accessories, all the bolts, nuts, brackets, all that stuff. Really nicely done, nicely packaged. Good job, Rusty's. And uh, I'm still just waiting for the guys and we're gonna dig in. Watch how much movement there is in the tailgate when I just close it. You can see the whole thing shakes and rattles. So hopefully all that play will come out of the tailgate after this mount. Okay, so the guys showed up. I got Eric and uh, Tom here helping, but we're getting ready to start taking apart the inside, basically, compartment with the subwoofer here on the passenger side rear because we're going to need to get inside here to where the hinge mounts. So this is all got to come apart and then we're going to have to take out the passenger tail light and uh, that'll expose a lot more for us to get going. So that piece just came out with a couple of bolts. 
Three bolts there. Tom's popping off this uh, plastic piece off the tailgate. We just took the bolt out of here that holds the tail light on. That's it. And then I always hate these tabs. Mm -hmm. You never know, some you gotta squeeze, some you don't. Oh, here you go. Nice. We needed some muscle. <laughs> So we just took out these screws. There's a bunch of them around for the spare uh, tail light. And what that did it is opened up the plastic here so we can get access to the wire for the third brake light. Okay, so we popped off this mount from the tailgate and uh, it's just eight bolts that hold it on. They're 13 millimeter. And then you gotta push out the studs for the mounting the tire and the backup camera it's all just done from inside here okay so we just used some blue painters tape to mark the the tailgate so that we know if it shifts or moves um, and then we also just need to shim underneath here with something so we'll get something to shim it so that the tailgate doesn't drop when we start unbolting it Okay, so I already undid these three bolts here to pull the hinge out and I got to do the bottom three down here Which will release that hinge out of there. Okay, so up to this point Rusty's has had really good instructions the one thing we weren't sure about was this plate That was included with the kit um, There wasn't really any mention of it in the instructions But what we figured out is that it is a kind of a backing plate that's gonna go in from the back side here and it'll line up with the hinge bolts and basically just add an additional reinforcement to the hinges. So we're gonna get going on this now and get the actual mount put up in here. Okay, so at this point we just screwed in the eight 13 millimeter bolts that we removed. Those are the factory bolts. Um, we did those. Now we are working on putting in these four, which are new supplied bolts from Rusty's. So Tom is getting those together right now with the washers. All right, so Tom started these two. And what you'll see is they come through the threaded holes here from the factory and then Rusty's includes nuts on the backside to even strengthen them a little further. Okay, so Rusty's includes this additional bracket that's going to go down in through the tail light here and kind of reinforce the hinge plate inside and what it's also going to do is allow you to add a fourth bolt to the hinge bracket coming, oops, I just knocked out the screw, but uh, through this little hole here, up in there, you're gonna be able to add a fourth bolt in through this hinge reinforcement plate. So we are working on that right now. Yeah, it includes a spacer. So the spacer will go 
on the inside here between the bracket and that's going to kind of flatten it out. Now we're piecing together all the third brake light stuff here. We wired the, ran the wires through here and through and then down in through the top there and they're going to kind of pop out where you need them. And then we're just putting together the actual mount now. Okay, so we pretty much have it all dialed in and set up. We've torqued down all the bolts. We've got the bolts and the bracket done inside here. So we still need to, once we put the tire up, it'll, we'll be able to adjust this and set the, uh, this kind of back spacer here that kind of keeps the tire from bouncing or moving in. Um, but what we decided to do is because I did not want to drill these holes and put the nut certs into the tailgate, um, what we did was we just got some foam, little piece of foam, put that behind here on the top and the bottom, just to give it enough so it's not gonna rub against the tailgate. Um, and then what happened was after we got it all said and done, set up, we put the spare on, as soon as we opened this, we noticed that it dropped. So what we ended up having to do was go back and we loosened all eight of the bolts in here just loosened it while it was held while it was shut and I had Tom held up a lot of pressure on it from the outside here while we re-snug the bolts and that seems to have fixed all of the drop in the tailgate so it was actually a pretty easy to readjust it so those are the few things we had snags with we're just deciding what to do with this plate here adjusting that and then uh, this actually wasn't a snag we just haven't finished it yet so that about wraps it up we just got to put the spare on and finish things off so rusty's included a bunch of nuts for the back side of these bolts to even further secure them we pop the cover back on we put these little like stickers back over the brackets and now we just got to put the sub in All right, so that wraps up our Rusty's tire carrier installation video. All in all, was not too bad. It's just time consuming, although definitely not for somebody who's not familiar with working on their own vehicles or Jeeps. Not an easy one to just jump in and take on, but not too bad for us since we do have a lot of experience and Tom had worked on his own before doing the Evo tire carrier. We did get it all lined up and adjusted really nicely so it does open and close without sagging what we did have to do though is take once we got it all done the first time we did have to loosen up the bolts here um, in the hinge bracket loosen them all up and applied some pressure upwards on the hinge so what we did was we loosened up all the bolts inside here just loosened them and applied pressure upwards we had tom pull up on it and then i tightened them down and that was all it took to get the adjustment correct so pretty easy so far the only thing that i have as an issue is when i close it it seems like it's a little loose in the in the way it latches here right now which is not something that changed should have really changed from doing the carrier, but I may just need to do some adjustment to the latch here inside. I might just have to move that a little bit. So I'm gonna mess with that probably tomorrow, but for now it is all lined up working. It actually opens and closes really nicely and there's a lot less flex in the carrier itself. What I will say with this tire carrier from Rusty's is that everything is like way extra secure, tightened, the, that bracket, the extra bolts, um, something that a lot of the other tire carriers don't 
go above and beyond doing. I also liked, the re one of the reasons I went with the Rusties was because I did not want to have to move my license plate from down there and mount it up here. That was one that, that was something that some of the other tire carriers required you or forced you to do because they had this bracket that mounts your brake light and your camera and your license plate up here. I did not want that. This also has a very nicely finished mount for the camera. So the camera's still there and working. And then um, the third brake light is actually inside the wheel. So it actually looks really cool because it just mounts inside there. And when you're driving, it just kind of glows behind the tires. So pretty cool. I like how they hid that behind there. Some of the other ones, it's a little more obvious and in your face. And uh, this just kind of has a nicer finish to it. So. I'm really happy with the overall setup. Like I said, I just got to make a little bit of adjustment to the, the latch, but otherwise really solid, super high quality. The coating on it is really nice, really thick coating. So i um, really happy with Rusty's. This is my first time buying anything from them and I will definitely be checking them out again in the future. I hope this install video helps you guys out. Um, if you like what you saw, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure you leave us some comments below and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.